sometimes I get my cultures uh, confused, the Greek and the Canadian. Like last week at a party where I licked my plates and smashed my maple syrup all over the dance floor. <laughs> I left Canada when I was uh, 16 years old um, and moved to Greece. The, the toughest part about leaving uh, Canada was my pet moose, Moussaka. <laughs> <laughs> I have been having some problems lately with the women. They are always asking me about their dresses. Do you like my dress? And I say, yes, it's a wonderful dress, I like it, very nice. But they never believe me, they get angry, and they say, You know what, I don't believe you! You don't understand the time and consideration that I took to go out and choose the dress, the color, does it go with me and everything like this? You don't understand, you're a fucking man, you piece of shit! And they don't know what to do. <laughs> so I figured it out. What she wants is for me to become like a fashion designer. <laughs> okay, I think it's absolutely fantastic. First of all, let me say blue. I love this color blue because it is not just primary blue, but it is that lighter shade of primary blue. Magenta, very nice. The V decolleté. Ah, fantastic. Is this hand stitched? You're joking, girlfriend. It looks hand stitched, and if it's not, it's a miracle that it is. However, one thing that I would recommend, not that it's already not perfect, because it is. But I believe you should put the blue stilettos and a little bit of rouge, and then you will be fantastic. But if I had to rate it now out of ten, eleven. It's kind of tough finding work as a Greek Canadian actor over here in London. Because for some weird, strange reason, they tend to cast English people over Greek Canadians. Still trying to figure that one out. <laughs> so, when I am an actor, I take on a different persona from this persona that you're seeing now, and I begin to speak like this. <laughs> and I walked into the audition room and I said, hello, my name is Emmanuel, Kutsudopoulos, Papadopoulos, Papapopoulos, 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 Papapopoulos. Are you Greek? No, no darling, I'm not Greek. I'm very English, I've just been cursed with a Greek name. You can check my bank account and rest assured, it's full of British money. So are the Greeks. <laughs> 7,000 pounds overdrawn. I will audition for you a part of Hamlet, Prince of Denmark. To be or not to be, that is the answer. Question? Answer? I always get the suit mixed up. Question, you have a question for me? Answer, I see. Uh, question. Yes. So I finished the audition and they said, uh, thank you, thank you very much indeed. So I was sure to get a call back to the next round of the auditions. And I uh, walked into the uh, waiting room. And I waited and they came out and read the names of the ten people who would make it to the next round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I did not hear my name, but I was so sure because they said thank you very much indeed that I would be number ten. So I lifted my chin in the air in a great air of triumph. <laughs> And they said, Rupert, <gasps> let me see that list, I said. They gave it to me, I read it. I could not see my name. Was there something wrong with my eyes? They said, no, I did not take it to the next round, I'm afraid. So I went home in a great fury. And I grabbed my dictionary and I looked up the words, thank you very much. And indeed, they were all positive words. <laughs> positive words, negative actions. Was it possible that I was living in a world of negative words, but next negative people using positive words, positive words, shielding negative people. This was not a world that I wanted to live. <laughs> so I put a dagger to my heart, and I said I shall end the torture and the pain of it all. I could have played Hamlet. And then the telephone rang, and I said, why not one more humanly contact before I off myself? <laughs> It was my agent, and he said, darling, how are you? I said, I'm not very well. Quite suicidal, actually. <laughs> he said, fine, I have another audition for you. Would you like to go? Yes, I don't know. Uh, well, I was planning on offing myself, but uh, I suppose I could fit one more audition into my schedule. So I went to the next audition, did not get the part, and I said, fuck it, and I went for tea. <laughs> I'm, uh, I fell in love with a Bulgarian woman. Um, I know I had to pick a post-communist state to find true love, but that's the kind of discipline I need in my life. I do uh, 50 push-ups in the morning, 60 sit-ups, and three prayers to Stalin before lunch. 
but I love her. And she's also got the same name as my mother, by the way, Demi. Uh, which is not weird at all. Um, not that I have any mother issues or anything like that. And I decided to marry this woman, so I called her and I said, I called my mother. Sorry, I called my mother. Yeah, you see what I mean? It's, you can take somebody to get used to. But I decided to marry her and I called my mother and I said, Mom, great news, I'm getting married. She says, that's wonderful, my son. Which part of Greece is she from? Uh, I said, Mom, she's Bulgarian. And she immediately got angry and said, What Bulgarian? Bulgarian? Are you trying to give me a heart attack over here? You're Greek. You gotta marry a nice Greek girl. Can't you find yourself a nice Greek girl? If your grandmother hears about this, she's gonna take a knife and put it to her throat. Do you care about this family or don't you? But I knew what I had with my mother. And I said, Look, Mom, she's worth 500,000 euros. Her parents are paying for the wedding. Well, Greece used to be part of Bulgaria before we got it. <laughs> 